Keeping track of vendor activity is critical to your business. See what information is available on the vendor record for maintenance and inquiry. To edit vendors, from the Edit menu, select Vendors, or click on the Vendors button on the toolbar. A list of all vendors is presented in a grid, sortable either by the vendor number, name, or phone, with the ability of filtering this list to those that meet desired criteria, or sort by any data field. From the column editor, select only active vendors if desired. Also from here, each user can change which columns are displayed on this grid. Highlight a vendor from the list and either double-click the row or click the Edit button. There are many different tabs with information to maintain or view. The Vendor tab has general data such as the address and the main contact information. Each vendor has a unique code of up to six characters when the vendor record was created, which can be configured to adhere to a specific coding structure defined in the company profile to make locating vendors by code easier. The Accounting tab displays data pertinent to transaction entry within payables, and also the place to assign Government 1099 or T5018 form printing define auto-generated invoice numbering, and enter customizable optional fields specific to your company. The Statistics Year-to-Date tab shows summary transaction amounts for the month, year, and last year. Statistics are only editable if enabled from the company profile. The Statistics Activity tab displays various transaction type amounts and the dates when they last occurred. The Payee PO tab contains the name and information for an alternate payee if desired. And if Adagio Purchase Orders is integrated, data particular to purchase order entry and printing is visible here. The Notes Alerts tab is a place where comments, either general or marked with the time and Adagio user ID, to organize for searching or reporting. Also, Vendor alerts can be configured to pop up a message whenever the vendor is edited or used for various transaction entry. The Transactions tab lists all vendor documents, organized by the application in which the records are stored. For payables, the grid lists either current or historical transactions, or a combination of both. This list can be sorted either by the document date or number, in either in ascending or descending direction. For vendors with a high volume of transactions, you can locate a particular invoice by simply typing the number into the Find Document field and pressing the Tab key. Other transaction types may also be located by selecting the Type Code from the list. And if you double-click a transaction or click the Apply button, you can drill down to see more information including the ledger activity, the transaction generated, and also any applied payments or adjustments. If Adagio Purchase Orders is integrated, you can list current or archived transactions of various types. And from any of the transaction lists, you can export the contents of a grid to an Excel spreadsheet. And when integrated with Adagio ePrint, a PDF of the document can be viewed directly from here if one exists. Because vendor notes and alerts are stored in separate data files compared to the rest of the vendor tabs, this information can only be added to existing vendors, and not vendors in the process of being created. If this is a brand new vendor and you try to enter such information, a message will appear to ask you to save the vendor data thus far and allow you to continue on. If you want to print a vendor status report, you can do this directly from within editing the vendor. Click the Print button to open the Vendor List and Statistics report with various selectable information sections for this vendor only. If you want to see this vendor information without the ability to change anything, 
This can be done either by clicking the View button on the Edit Vendor List screen, or from the Inquiries menu, select Vendors. Viewing a vendor does not allow changing any values, though you can click an email or website link. Previous and Next buttons allow scrolling through the list of vendors. And with a specific security group setting, you can allow the Adagio user to have access to editing or adding vendor notes from the Edit Notes button, but not allow changing anything else. Manage and organize your vendor records to optimize use and track important information. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.